Well, he promised the fish and you know what? He put me on a fish. Luke said he was gonna put me on rainbow today and that he did. Thanks, buddy. No problem. Wasp Tours always delivers. You know what? Oh, fish. Fish. Oh, I guess that's me. <laughs> oh yeah, buddy. This is great fish. Oh. Life offers no guarantees, but the one thing we've learned for sure is that the time we have is indeed precious. The more time we spend with family, friends, and with nature can make the difference between living a good life and living a great one. Join us on our quest to be participants rather than observers, to learn from our mistakes, to share our successes and our failures as we spend all of the time we have chasing our dreams fueling our passion, and fueling the fire in the great outdoors. Closed captioning for Fuel the Fire is brought to you by Let's Roll Out ALS.ca. Hey folks, welcome to Fuel the Fire TV. Listen, this week we're on Manitoulin Island and it's springtime and I'm fishing with pro staff Luke Wasagija. He runs a uh, WAS Tours, which is a fish guiding operation here on Manitoulin and we're fishing for rainbow today, but we're fishing Manitoulin's Manitowaning Bay and this is home of the Wikwemakong Ice Fishing Derby, right? Now the Manitoulin Ice Showdown. Now the Manitoulin Ice Showdown. Tell me a little bit about that. We um, came up with a new format this year, Mo changed it to two days um, over two lakes, two bodies of water here, Manitowaning Bay and Lake Manitou. And you know what? We had a fantastic time. People seemed to love it and a lot of fish were caught. Right, you know, we actually fished that derby and one of our local fishermen and local guides, Dave Millett, took us out on Lake Manitou, which is the largest lake on the island. And we were going after that target weight, which was 6.40 pounds, right? We didn't know that until the opening of the day. I caught one at 6.37 which was I, I thought was gonna be the winner, but pro staff Cody uh, Hunter actually caught the $5,000 fish. But we did get some good fish that day on Lake Manitou. All right, we're here at the Manitoulin Ice Showdown and I've got a monster soccer bait on here and a Williams. I've been waiting for this to go down and I finally got one on here. Yeah, I don't know what this is. I think it's a ling and we're trying to get a ling that's over nine pounds. This wasn't it though. This isn't it. This guy's only, I don't know how big he is, but he's not that big. But we've been catching some big ling in this spot, like five pounders. Oh, Derek just got a six pounder. This guy may be, may be a little bit better now that he sees the light of day. Oh, no! Oh, there he goes, dude. It was a ling he had. Look at, he, he had the sucker bait. He never had it in his mouth. He just ripped it off. It was a ling. Here we go. It came right here, maybe. How big do you think that one was, Neil? Maybe. Oh, this guy wants a little bit of. Pounds. He's got a bit of attitude. I'm just gonna let him slow down a little bit there. All right, what an awesome weekend, Dave, Alex, and my brother Derek. We're fishing the Manitoulin Ice Showdown. It's a two lake derby 
up here on Manitoulin Island, sponsored by Wequemekong Tourism and the Manitoulin Expositor. The Expositor also does the Salmon Derby as well in the summertime, and they're figuring out how to put on a great derby. Lots of fish caught this weekend, especially by these guys, uh, thanks to Dave and some great fishing for ling. Bourbon is a great eating fish, as most of you guys already know, but uh, a fantastic weekend. Thanks, Dave. You're welcome. And thanks, guys, for coming out. That was awesome. Glad they could make it. We're going to head to the arena in Wakumakong for a big chili dinner and check out some of the prizes and see if any of our six pounders made it into the top 10. But remember, folks, to fuel your passion and fuel the fire, you got to get outdoors. The Wiki Derby, that was a fun derby. And you know, we caught a ton of fish. Lake Manitou is chock full of lake trout. Mind you, we had a really good guide in Dave Millette. You gave away all the prizes, it right? Was, yeah, we gave them all away over $50,000 in 50 prizes. grand. And lots of the big prizes went right away. Right away, in the first in the first hour, we had the biggest trout, we had the tagged fish and the target weight. You know what, and we also got some great ling, uh, some freshwater ling. That's always fun. They're fun to catch right off the bottom. And we got some big ones. I love eating ling, so we cleaned a lot of those up. Or what are you gonna do for next year? Same plan, two days, two lakes, and you know, um, you know, same prizes. It's about, you know, being out in the lake, catching some great fish and you know, Manitoulin Island, Manitowana Bay, Lake Manitou have some excellent opportunities for trout fishing. You know what, and Manitou also has great walleye, it has good bass, it's a huge lake, and it's always the second weekend in February? Yep, second weekend in February. Second weekend in February. Put it on your calendar because it's a great time to be had by all. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. This segment of Fuel the Fire TV was brought to you by Black Fox Fishing. This segment of Fuel the Fire TV was brought to you by Wequemekong Tourism. All right, we're just about to get set up here. And Luke, what have you been fishing for maybe a week now? Or? The ice has been out for about a week. Yeah. yeah, and you know what? It's the middle of May and the ice just left Manitowoning Bay. We're going to try some, some wraps. We're just going to try some small wraps here. This one's a chartreuse and, and you've been... Uh, been hitting good on the crayfish. When you troll them at about two miles, you get the good action that's coming up the back. A lot of the chartreuse colors on these cloudy overcast days seem to work good here on Manitowoning Bay. Now we're gonna fish tight, tight into the shore. Be about five, six feet of water. Five or six feet. Our first pass, we did see a couple in that range. Uh, you know, maybe that's a good idea is to stay nice and tight into that shoreline. But we'll throw these on and get them behind the boat. All right, we got a fish on. Bring us down. We're going to get out of this wind here while Luke fights this fish. I'm not gonna say that to, to Luke that I that I changed to the bait that I would have picked first, but I changed to the bait that I would have picked first. I'm just saying. That's what you love about these rainbows. It doesn't matter. I mean, in terms of size, you get, you know, especially out here on that ball, the average is about two to five pounds. But even at two to five pounds, you're getting, you're getting a good little fight. Oh yeah, he's a good fish. Oh, he'll go three. That's at least a three pounder. Look at that on a nice little chartreuse. That's a great fish for our first fish here in Manitowoning Bay with Was Tours and Luke Wasikijik. Great fish, buddy. Awesome. awesome. Look at the colors on that. That's Just fantastic. That's a beautiful rainbow trout. Oh man, that's nice. It's gonna be great for the grill. For sure. If you notice what I said to Luke after we fished his way for about 45 minutes, didn't catch any fish. 
I said, let's change our lures to this lure and we'll do a shallow run. And how long did it take us to catch a fish? About three hours. <laughs> About 30 seconds. Wow, great fish, Luke. That's a fantastic fish, man. Good for you. Great for the barbecue. A great eating rainbow out of Manitowoning Bay. Beautiful fish, Neil. Beautiful fish. And you know what? These are the types of fish that you want to see on Manitoulin Island in the water. And it, it, it's really, it's a part and part for some of the great conservation work that's done here on the island and partnerships that we have here on Manitoulin with Manitoulin Streams. Right. Manitoulin Streams, a not-for-profit organization here that does a ton of work in terms of river restoration, in terms of education, in terms of invasive species. Just a great organization. You know, it's those types of partnerships between First Nations and, and and, and different uh, organizations here on the island, such as Manitoulin Streams, that make such a great fishery. And, and you know, f to ensure that we have this type of fish and this type of resource for future generations. Now, you guys are doing some work in Wequemecong. They're working on one of your streams, right? Yeah, in Smith Bay. And we've had some, we've seen some really great work there. You know, some really good rehabilitation in the stream. So, you know, it's gonna look, it's looking good for the fishery. And they're getting kids involved, right? They so are. The schools are there and we're doing cleanups with the, with the stream, so. Do they have, uh, they have a hatchery in one of your schools? They have a micro hatchery in the Pontiac school, yeah. Right, and what are they raising there? Brook trout. Brook trout. Yep. Do they do walleye yet or no? No, no. no. Not yet, but you know what? They do walleye in Chiging with the Lakeview School and uh, a fantastic partnership, lots of river restoration, lots of bioengineering, teaching the kids about all of that stuff. Um, just fantastic organization. And if you get a chance, check them out online. We're right in front of Melissa Cooper's place. Bayside Resort. Bayside Resort. Luke pulls in a nice, maybe two and a half, three pound rainbow. What a great fish, good job, buddy. Get on the grill. All right, let's get some more. This segment of Fuel the Fire TV is brought to you by Indigenous Tourism Ontario. Hey folks, welcome back to the program. We're fishing in Manitowoning Bay, right in front of Bayside Resort here, and it's my turn to catch the next rainbow. So Luke promised that I'm gonna be on fish today, and that's yet to be determined. But you know what? We're gonna change up these lures and see what happens. Let's get her done. All right, we got a fish on here. How's it feel, Neil? Ah, he feels like a, a small guy. Maybe a couple pounder, maybe. But if I can get him in, I know he's gonna taste good on the Barbie. Nothing like Manitoulin rainbow. You know with what? A little bit of maple syrup. Oh, geez, on the barbecue, it's just fantastic. Get this guy in. I don't feel any head shakes on him. We have a long line. We're running about about two to three hundred feet back. Chartreuse seems to be the go-to. Yeah, a little bit. Neil's, Neil's wearing them down a little bit. And the sky for him. Another good eater. So like you said, come in tight. We're fishing these things in tight. About seven feet of water. Nice. You know, about, about 1.8 to 2 miles per hour. Oh yeah, this is a good little fish. This is awesome. This is a great fish, actually. Perfect, Perfect eater. Perfect. Oh, that's a nice little fish. Nice job. Oh, that's a nice fish. Beauty. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Good job on the net, buddy. Look at this fish. This is just a great specimen. And you know what? You can catch these all season long here, right? In the in the spring, and then if you go a little bit deeper, in uh, when we're fishing for salmon out here, uh, you can still pick up these fish. Just a fantastic fish to catch. Beautiful look colors. At the colors. Beautiful. Just awesome. Manitowoning Bay is such a great place to fish. There's all kinds of fish in here, and you know what? You don't even need to do it from a boat. You can do it from shore. It's one of the best places. You know, as soon as ice out, the first three weeks, one of the best places to fish from shore. Yeah. Absolutely. And you know what? Sean and I, Sean Leduc, last spring, did some fantastic fishing from shore. He actually got me hooked on fishing from shore. We're fishing in and around Manitoulin Island, and you don't have to do it in a boat. You can do it and have just a great time from the shore. We're casting it into a current and we're looking for those post-spawn walleye. 
We're gonna hook this up and see what happens, but Sean's been successful here before in the past, and hopefully tonight is no exception to that. Down here we're doing some shore fishing. A little current, and it looks like I got a real nice walleye. Check this out, he's right here. Look at this guy, just smashed it. Look at this fish, this is a great fish. A post uh, spawn fish, I'd say he's probably five pounds. I'd give him maybe 20, what are you saying that's 26 gonna be? incher. 26 incher. This is not one we're gonna keep. We're looking for something a little bit smaller for an eater, but uh, this is a great fish, awesome. What a beautiful fish. All right, Sean's got a fish on here. Second fish of the night. I definitely say he's nine, pushing ten. That's a great definitely fish. Definitely close. I'd say he's over 30 inches. That's what you get right there. Monster walleye. Just like that. What'd you think of those walleye? Those were awesome. You know what? Some of those were close to 10 pounds. You gotta love that, man. Springtime walleye offshore, man, that's awesome. And the opener this year is only a week away. Yes, it is. Spanish River, here we Spanish come. Spanish River. That's for a different episode, but stay tuned. We'll be right back. This segment of Feel the Fire TV is brought to you by bait to go Hey folks, welcome to this week's Wild Game Kitchen. You know what's great about having kids is you can put them to work and that's exactly what we did. We had them catching smelts and we had them cleaning smelts. Now it's not a pretty job, they weren't really fond of it, but you know what, them's the breaks. We're cooking today with bait to goes outdoor flavors. Now they've got a coating mix for fish. They've got all kinds of varieties. They've got dill, they've got spicy Cajun, they've got a beer batter mix and it's really easy to use and we're gonna show you how to do that. First off, we need a little bit of buttermilk and if you don't have buttermilk on hand, one of the things that you can do is just use regular milk, maybe about a cup of that, that's at least a cup, and throw in a little bit of vinegar. The acid will help break that down and create that sour milk kind of flavor, just as a coating. So we'll let that do its thing, we'll stir it a little bit, We've got our oil cooking on the barbecue. First up, we're gonna use the campfire barbecue. And we're gonna take a bunch of these smelts. We're just gonna throw them in here for coating for a little bit of that sour milk. And we're gonna mix them up here and we're just gonna throw them right in the grease. Lots of that coating stays on the, those smelts, which is great. Lots of times you'll have a mix that actually comes off in the pan, and this doesn't seem to be, uh, to be doing that. All right, so while we're waiting, a little bit of taste test. It's got a real nice barbecue flavor. Absolutely. My dad's gonna love these things. I better get my share now. Mmm, mmm. And there you have it. That's this week's Wild Game Kitchen with our family enjoying the Manitoul tradition of smelt fishing and outdoor flavors from bait to go. Well, he promised the fish and you know what? He put me on a fish. Luke said he was gonna put me on rainbow today and that he did. Thanks, buddy. No problem. Lost Tours always delivers. You know what? Oh, fish. 
Oh, I guess that's me. <laughs> oh, yeah, buddy. This is great. Oh, oh nice, 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 nice. Oh, yeah, this is going to be maybe a three, four pounder, maybe even a five pounder, buddy. It's got some good head shakes in it anyway. Nice. Yeah. If you get a chance to fish Manitoulin Island and if you're coming up here in the spring, you absolutely have to try Manitowaning Bay. Up here and land this one for you. Looks like another gray one for the Barbie. Oh, that's a good fish. Swing on! Oh, that's a beauty. <laughs> Got a lot of fight. Oh. Yeah. oh, nice! Awesome. Well, there you have it. A last second fish, just as we were about to reel up in Manitowaning Bay on beautiful Manitoulin Island. We're fishing with Lost Tours. Talk about ninth inning heroics. That is fabulous. Finally, a fish read the script and it happened exactly as planned. Remember folks, to fuel your passion and fuel the fire, you gotta get outdoors. We'll see you next week.